All right, E-King fighting you back at it, man. And things are heating up with Vasil Lomachenko. He's put himself definitely on a higher pedestal than he was before this bringing down fight. ESPN is now ranking him number one pound for pound. And that whole media outlet is backing him uh, like no other. Like they believe this is the next coming. Like this is the second coming of Jesus Christ in boxing. The great hope of Lomachenko uh, is now official. And Floyd Mayweather, of all people, the former pound for pound king, is basically saying, you know what, man? Not impressive. Not an impressive victory against um, Guillermo El Chacal, Rigandau. Uh, he was too small. That's what that's what Floyd Mayweather is saying, man. And and check it out, cause um, you could you could look at them at the weigh-in. You tell me if he's too small or not. Uh, was Vasil Lomachenko bigger than Rigandau physically? Absolutely, absolutely, he was. You could just look at the difference there. Uh, let's see what Mayweather had to say. I never fought a guy that was that small. He was smaller than that. Honestly, they didn't look like they belonged in the ring together, Mayweather told Fight Hype. I don't think Rigandau had a hand problem. Rigandau should just take this as a learning experience. A guy that big, I could see the difference when they got into the ring. A small good fighter will never beat a big good fighter. It'll never happen. That's what Mayweather had to say. Uh, as far as in-ring action, Mayweather felt the context. The the fight did not live up to the hype. Um, it was really no damage done to neither side. Real stiff robotic fight. Nobody landed like no killer solid shots, Mayweather says. You can look at me and Diego Corrales. I can't take that away from Lomachenko. He done what he had to do. So, you know, that's Floyd, uh, quite cynical in his own right. He tends to not give a whole lot of credit when it comes to these media hype fighters. And when I say media hype, I'm talking about this guy, Lomachenko, excellent amateur pedigree, but he's 10-1, and one, and he's being crowned the next pound-for-pound pound king. I mean, that, that personifies media hype uh, right there. So what do we think about it, man? Floyd's Floyd, man. He's He's got Gervonta Davis under his banner. He should be talking about matching up Gervonta Davis with Lomachenko. If he feels that um, Rigondeaux was too small, damn near. Uh, your boy, Gervonta, couldn't make weight. So obviously he's not going to be too small. What do you think about that matchup, Floyd? That's my question, that, like, you know, because you, you can't just talk shit. And and be an active promoter in the game. Like you got fighters in there, so I, I would expect Floyd Mayweather to two one at least bring up Javante Davis's name as as a legitimate threat to Lomachenko or build him up to be because uh, that could easily be a massive fight. Or talk about um, talk about a Mikey Garcia fight because uh, Mikey Garcia has been wanting to fight Lomachenko uh, for quite some time now. Those two fights are very interesting. And it's funny because he didn't even mention the Salido fight where he lost. And this dude, uh, Miguel Roman, actually beat Salido in a, in a quite an entertaining affair. I would like to see that dude, Miguel Roman, step up and take on uh, Vasil Lomachenko. I wonder if Bob Arum has the same mindset since he would have he admitted that if Orlando Salido would have won that fight, he would have matched up Vasil Lomachenko and Salido together in a rematch to see uh, who's better once and for all, so to speak. And and now that's completely out the window. So would he take a turn and take the winner of that fight and match him up? Who knows? Uh, otherwise, that's all I got for this one. Let me know what you guys think on Mayweather's comments regarding Vasil Lomachenko. 
It is what it is, guys. You know what it is. Peace out, take care. Smash the like button.